Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel with me, your host Max. On today's episode, we will celebrate Leah's birthday and also we have one free day, so fingers crossed I can go today or tomorrow hopefully to the game Skull Cavern because I'm really low on minerals and I need to make like a ton of stuff. So let's take a look at the weather report, but I'm more curious about the lot for today. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yoza! Okay, so, fun thing, fun thing. How are we when it comes to friendship with... Uh, damn it. Okay, that, that's gonna be iffy. So, the idea basically is to go give her the wine. And once that is done, I will just straight ahead go into the Skull Cavern. I really, really need to get some more stuff and... I mean, what can I do before I head into the Skull Cavern? Well, I'm glad you asked. I obviously grabbed some bombs here that I have at my disposal. But what I'm gonna have to do is one dramatic thing, or one necessary thing, and that is to milk my chickens. Did I just say milk my chickens? Okay, I'm obviously failing biology, but... Oh, what the hell. I'm the person who asked why the chicken breast doesn't have nipple. So anyhow, I'm gonna try to milk the chickens and dogs and also take care of the other animals and once that is done, we will try to go visit Leah so that I can potentially give her that birthday gift and we can head into her mines. Fingers crossed also tomorrow will be lucky day so I might be able to repeat the process. It certainly help me greatly if I would be able to do so. And we have our first duck feather! That is cool, that is cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, so that has been taken care of. Now, what I need to do is deal with all of this animal stuff that I have gathered. And once that is being processed, I can go look up for that bottle of wine that I have for Mia, and then we can head out into the Skull Cavern. Do hope I'm gonna get lucky and get somewhat deep in the mines. It would definitely help me a lot. Okay, I do swear that I did put some freaking bottle of something good somewhere. So we need these dishes too. The rest of that stuff can stay there. We need some sort of sustain and luck and all the other funky stuff. Where in the hell did I put that bottle of that booze? Okay, so we have it. It's 9.40. Please don't tell me this is done. Okay, the caviar, I can... Oh, damn it, even these cats need to be replaced or restocked. Okay, okay, okay. Not sure how I will manage to do that. The priority is seriously to go into the Skull Cavern. Bam is at this point already. At the bus stop. And here you go, gorgeous! And from all the redheads in this town, you are probably my favorite for some reason. Okay, so birthday girl has been taken care of. It's Tuesday, so it's actually surprising that Robin is actually working to upgrade the coop and she's not working out, but I guess that does not count as one of the events. Therefore, she will not up to work, so that's good to know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna probably restock all of these, or refill all of them at the end of the day. I really don't want to waste time doing that stuff right now. So, let's make a few 
few bombs here. I don't want to run through the entire reserve. And... Yeah, let's go. Hold on. I'm just gonna ditch some of these suits too. Really don't need... Uh, axe, scythe, watering can. I can potentially try to keep the rod. Who knows? Yeah, you know what, let's not do that, and let's just head out into the mines. Finally, after such a long time. Now, since I'm actually here, what I will do also is purchase the rhubarb. Now, I cannot guarantee how many more times will I have the opportunity to come here due to how the luck might work. What do we have? Mermaid Show. Okay, this is the secret note which I wanted to showcase at the night market, but I managed to find it eventually. So, rhubarb for the spring season. I would love at least 150. Or you know what, let's go with like 250. Yeah, I know I'm burning through cash here, but the rhubarb is a good investment. Mixed in with some deluxe speed grow or just speed grow, it will return the profit eventually, especially if you turn it into like an artisanal item. Okay, so let's pop the spicy eel to boost that speed. Get that luck up even more. Gather up all this cactus, even the coconut. Who knows, maybe there will be something useful in these worms too. Or just mix seeds, that's cool. Okay, now I'm not sure if I already picked up the palm fossil. But let's not waste time, we need resources. And we need to get deep fast. Okay, there's the ladder. Let's keep it going. Okay, we got some mummies here. Might get some solar sense as well out of this. That is if I will manage to actually hit the damn thing. Let's get rid of those two. Okay. We have two more. And holy fuck, look at the damage I'm taking. Okay, so we're a sense, therefore, if I will gather some avoid the sense and some gold ore, fingers crossed, I will be able to make more of those mech bombs. There's just so many of you guys here. You know what, let's clear out this area. And let's ditch the level. Obviously, I really don't need to be swarmed by those flying lizard ring dingies. What are they called? Once again, I totally forgot. Serpents. Man, those serpents can really whoop your ass. Okay, so let's keep on going. So far, I mean... Yeah, it's kind of meh. Really hoping I'm gonna be able to come across something more decent here. Let's see if this will... Finally! Ooh, we got Iridium Ore at level 4! Haha! <laughs> Fun stuff can happen! Okay. So far, not that great, but... I'm quite sure it will turn around. I was really hoping he would drop a ladder. Or spicy eel. That's a topaz, at least something, and some iron ore, and there's a ladder right here. So we are not gonna waste any time. I'm not sure what are my chances in getting to level 100, honestly, with the fairly limited assortment of explosives and almost zero amounts of rock that I have acquired. Uh, cause, I mean, 60, if 
I will be unlucky enough to get into one of the levels where I need to clear out all the enemies, I would be glad to have 99 rocks to potentially use the ladder to get deeper, but uh, who knows? Maybe I will be able to showcase the Pepperexes. Although I'm kind of really, really hoping I won't have to face against them, because they are really tough to deal with. I mean, sure, you can just potentially walk up to them, let them breathe the fire at you, try to like dodge or come up, come towards them then from another direction, but I mean, if you get hit by that fiery breath, it will definitely reduce your HP levels, so you really need to be careful. Wow, 13 levels! Ooh, and there's a ladder. Ooh, secret chest! God damn it! Out of all the things that I could have taken from the chest, I get the one thing which I know for sure I will never utilize. Because I don't utilize the slime hatchery, I, I just don't see the benefits in it. Ooh, and that's a lovely, lovely spicy deal there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's clear this out. There should be a jade in here. I should pop some HP back. How much more time do we have on these boots? Yeah, okay, we can still keep on pushing. So far, so far, so good, honestly. Kind of am angry that I dropped the bomb before I at least killed the first level of mummy or how should I call it, stage or something? I don't know. It, it's a deconstruction, let's let's call it that. Okay, here we have actually an iridium note at the far end, there might be some coal. Okay, there is no coal, but there is a purple mushroom. And that's gonna be worth quite a lot because we are picking up iridium quality goodies. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, buddy. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, there is a freaking ladder, so... You know what, let's pick up whatever I can from here. I know these things are not worth, like, that much, but, I mean, all this gold and stuff should definitely come in handy. There's also a freaking ruby here, so I would definitely like to get my hands on that. Okay, let's pop the cherry bomb. Some more cool stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, okay, we are coming across some notes here. Some serpents too. So far so good, so far so good. I'm glad we finally got a lucky day, it's definitely paying off, please, I'm hoping so. Come on, you big slimy something something. God damn it, okay, so this at least I know is the Iridium Crab, so it's gonna be a bit tricky here. Okay, let's, uh, you know what, let's pop another spicy. And I'm gonna actually just take the iron, I'm not even gonna scroll around with the Iridium Crab, it's definitely not worth it. Let's take the ruby, try to circle around the mummy. This is an actual Iridium, so, ooh, prismatic short. Okay, uh, let's take a look, did we drop off the pound fossil? I don't know, okay, we did, so... Therefore, I'm gonna banish you, and uh, what else? I'm um, thinking of definitely holding on to this. I'm gonna drop the mix seeds. I know, I know, previously back in the series, when I really needed them, <laughs> I wasn't able to get them to level up those damn sturgeon ponds, but look at me now, throwing them away. Fun stuff. Things change. Okay, oh, uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm trying to find something that might have like a 
bigger amount of rocks that I would be able to break apart. Uh, the obvious reason is it's easier to come across like uh, one of those shafts or ladders to the lower levels and it's easier to clear them out with the explosives compared to like goddamn pickaxe that I'm using here to break apart every damn piece of rock here. Again, here we actually get lucky. Four levels is still decent enough. I'm not really sure if we're gonna come across... Yeah, you see, if he is on the railing, there's like 200% chance that that's actually the Iridium Crab and not Iridium Note. So don't even bother. I'm gonna actually pick up this. I'm gonna kill the Serpent too. I actually tried to dodge but accidentally picked up the coal, so that is why I got actually hit, so... Eh, <laughs> fun stuff. Okay, we're starting to face off against the Red Bat. I'm not really sure at what point do the Iridium Bats start, but, uh, well, we'll see how deep can I get here. I'm gonna pop the sashimi, that should not kill the effects of the spicy peel. I definitely want to hold on to the bat wings just due to the fact that I'm gonna need those lightning rods. Uh, let's pop the mega bomb here to clear out this large area. Collect everything and go to the lower level. Okay, so what do we get? Here. Okay, this is actually a decent place for this. Let's not destroy the quartz. Let's break the support. Do we have a ladder? No. Oh, come on, I dodged that perfectly. What are you talking about? How did I take damage from that? Okay, let's pop one of the last pieces of place hands that I have. Okay, so I was hoping for the Pepperexes. Unfortunately, no such luck. Let's ditch this level. Ooh, radium. I'm so happy that I keep hitting the floor with the pickaxe. Ooh, and that's a shaft. Come on, seven levels. Ooh, we are below 50, which means we have even higher chance to come across radium. Remember, every 10 levels, the chances of Iridium spawning are increased. So, theoretically, we are also halfway through the goal to get to level 100. Although, at this point, I'm quite sure I don't stand a chance of getting there. But, what do I know? Uh, what do I wanna throw away? Let's throw away the sap. And there's a shaft! We're gonna take the expressway down, and down we go to level 56. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just quartz. Oh, there's some iridium. I'm actually hoping that is an iridium and not iridium crap. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's a shaft. Yeah, I did not think this would be Iridium Crab just because it was like surrounded by rocks. But then again, you never know. And here are those nasty, nasty Iridium Bats. Yeah, I really need to be careful here, otherwise this is gonna end badly. Well, thanks considered, I carry around a huge amount of rhubarb seeds, which I could potentially lose if I would get knocked out, so I need to be extra careful. Okay, that's an Iridium note. So you know what, let's pop a bomb over here. I still want to get over there, so I should make some more explosives here. How much more time do I have on this? Okay, we should manage. Let's take five of these, pop you here. That should not wake up the two bats. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, he's angry, he's angry. Okay, I was able to dodge that. This, I don't like this. Usually here tend to be serpents or something like that, and yeah, how did I know that? Okay, what are the chances I can come across a shaft or a ladder? Okay, apparently quite high. Woohoo! Nope. No way! 
Okay, I need to pop the plate yams. Ooh, it's also 12. I really need to hurry. Ooh, there's actually a freaking pepper rex. Ooh, for the first time on the channel, a pepper rex. Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel. Don't you dare read that hot fire on me. Okay, okay, okay. What are we talking here? What are we doing here? What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get to one more lever. Change to leave. Oh, come on. Really? Nothing? That's disappointing. Okay, I would actually like to get the emeralds. Oh, what do I wanna... Gosh darn it, okay. Let's, let's, let's go like this. Let's go like... Now what, let's, let's just leave. So, level 62... Uh, 29 Iridium only. Darn it, I was really hoping I would come across more. But for the second run... And for spending almost my entire pocket change, oh, I think I did pretty decent. Okay, so the crocus should stay there. The worms, I don't know if they will refresh tomorrow. Let's drop off whatever jewels I can. I'm gonna probably sell the purple thingy because I really don't see the need for that. I'm not sure if I dropped off the vertebra as of yet. Let's sell you. Let's sell you. you know what? Let's keep you for Emily and uh, Abigail. And let's sell you. I'm definitely keeping you because honestly, I don't know about you guys. But in my playthroughs, uh, usually what happens to me is that, well... I come across like five or something in the entire playthrough for like period of three years and I play every day like this so yeah I, I don't like uh, skip days or something like that. I don't skip leg day, I don't skip winter days, I just grind through the game. Cause I really do enjoy it. Okay so let's move Let's move some of these things away. Uh, you can theoretically be here for purposes of crafting. Really don't need the topaz. Uh, I'm gonna definitely drop you off. You off. Where, where did I drop like the army geodes and stuff? Did I drop it here? That's, that's terrible. Okay, the cloth, I do know that I keep that somewhere else too, but for now it should be just fine. I'm gonna probably sell the topaz, I mean I have 9 pieces over here. Okay, let's take a look at the museum. Okay, so the vertebra has definitely been picked up. And rabbit's foot I'm gonna actually keep because, believe it or not, we need it for, I think it might be the wizard's bundle. Yep, 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 yep. So the rabbit's foot is required. I'm not gonna run to the mushroom cave or anything else. I obviously would not make it even with the boost still active. Okay, so purple mushroom, really nice. Some cash for this. Well, are you serious? Purple slime egg is worth 5,000 gold? Okay. Maybe I should look into those damn slimes, but probably no. Okay, so today we have no actual event. I do wonder what will be the luck today. Okay, it's still a lucky day, so I'm thinking I'm gonna actually go into the Skull Cavern yet again. 
And tomorrow will be the Feast of the Winter Star. So if I remember correctly, it should be Linus who is my buddy. So I'm going to definitely need to pick up something for him for that episode. Glazed yams. Uh, where is that? Okay, I'm missing sugar. God darn it. Today is Wednesday, so Pierre is closed. Uh, can I cheat this potentially by going to Jojo Mart? I definitely need some form of food to sustain myself. This restores 89 health, so it's a great substitute. And it also doesn't mess your boost from the spicy eel. Sashimi, bread... Uh, plus attack. Let's take a look really quickly. Fish tacos. No, 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 no. Okay, radish salad looks good. I don't think I have any radish, however. Wow, the pumpkin pie would definitely help a lot. Can I? Yeah, I cannot because I don't know if I have any wheat. Um, okay, so how do I want to do this? Okay, so first things first. Uh, Linus, yep. See you there, dear Louis. Thank you for the notice. Okay, so. I'm thinking I might put the cactus and the coconut into the cacks so that they will turn into something more valuable. I'm going to take some of that wheat too because, well, obvious reasons, I totally did not replenish the cacks yesterday. Also, I'm going to need something for those four... Preserve jars which have the caviar in them. Okay, now we have even more of this stuff done. So this will be cactus, this will be coconut, this will be one of the two beverages. And let's just be careful here so that I won't pickle the wheat. Because uh, you can actually do that and I don't recommend it. I'm quite sure nobody would enjoy that. So, let's pick up whatever is in here. Let's take a look at the fish ponds. These guys are ready to level up. They will require two pieces of coral. Salmon is at full capacity. Okay, I kind of did know that I will need the Nautilus shelf here. So the surgeon will probably want two of these. Okay. Not really sure if I have two of them at this point, but we'll take a look. Okay, so how do I wanna deal with this? Let's drop everything here. I really need to invest into like more cheese presses and let's take 10x if I have that many even one two no I'm gonna definitely need to get all the x so let's take this bucket and like yesterday I'm gonna try to <laughs> milk the chickens because oh, man when I say dumb stuff it's it's like Seriously, highlights of each episode is just me talking nonsense. So I'll just get done with this and I'll talk to you after I'm done. Okay, so I just thought of something highly disturbing as usual. If you put an egg into the incubator, you get a chicken or a duck. What happens if you put the rabbit's foot into the incubator? Do you get a rabbit? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh man, <laughs> that's just horrible. Okay, um, uh, let's load up the mail machines. I was really hoping to get a dock egg. Uh, I really wanted to put it into the incubator to start uh, increasing the population in the second coop. Because obviously that can now be done since it has been upgraded. Okay, so we have some row here, so I can load that up into the preserve drawers. However, some of them will still remain empty. So that is one, two, one, two, one, two, and all the kegs seem to be working. So three things which can be pickled. And yes, 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 I do see all these lovely winter thingies done. But honestly, I really don't care right now. Let's put the rabbit's foot here. Let's put the wheat back in here. And let's try to make some explosives. So that's 10, that's 3, and that's 5. That is fine, fine. Spicy eel, I really need to bring along some sort of a dish or I am screwed, royally screwed. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go to Jojo, believe it or not. Yes. Uh, I really hope that they freaking have sugar. I mean, they have white fungus soda in there. So if they don't have sugar, I'm gonna get really angry. Sugar. Alrighty. Wheat flour too. Thank you. I really don't need rice for anything at this point, so we should be fine. I'm gonna run off to the farm, I'm gonna make like five place yams, since I think I have like eight left. And uh, the farm's fridge, and... Okay, another mixed seed. I'm gonna sell the holly, the crocus, because I'm gonna just have a massive harvest of them. So, screw that. This can be sold. This, and the snow yam, and you, and you. I can theoretically hold on to the two pieces of stone. And let's just go make five. Drop off these two over there. I also need to drop off the wool bar. Really cannot be running around with this. It would seriously suck if I were to get killed by accident and lose the entire stack of the seeds, especially since they did cost me quite a lot of gold. Okay, so let's compare the two days that we are coming here. Obviously, the first day I came across a bunch of cactuses and a bunch of coconuts. This time, uh, no such luck. Okay, well, do not fear. Max is here, and I am heading into the small cavern to Two rocks and kick bubblegum or I don't know. We need to come up with something. Ooh, and right from the start. Purple freaking mushroom. Okay, and there's some iron, but there are lots of freaking serpents. So no thank you. Really? Another one? Let's try to clear this out. That kind of did hurt, but okay, wow. Is this for like coming here two days in a row or what's going on? You guys have a reunion or something? I have not seen this many serpents at the start of the mining expedition previously. And now we cannot get rid of them. And there's another guy. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm starting to get the message. You guys don't like me here. 
but do not worry, I will still come here whenever I need a bunch of stuff. Okay, I just really need to learn how in the world to improve dodging or something, because, I don't know, someone any tip on this, because apparently I am terrible. Okay, I see the ladder, but I really want the rocks, so in case I will come across one of those nasty, nasty levels where you need to kill everything, so that I can escape. Wow, okay, okay. Okay, is, is that a one ghost? I was hoping for, like, some mummies or something. So far, this is quite a difference. Compared to what we had on the previous day, I mean, mostly it's serpents. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, that took really, really weird to turn there. But I wasn't able to pass that first mummy corpse, so I wasn't able to get to the rest of them. And therefore, the cherry bomb did not do as much as I was hoping it would. Okay. What is up with these serpents? I mean, it's a lucky day. It should be going all smooth. Okay, let's pop a bomb like... Oh, come on! Another one! You cannot tell me that the difference is this much when it comes to the enemies swarming in on me. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous at this point. I'm quite sure there's gonna be somewhere, some freaking ladder somewhere, already exposed and I'm just wasting time here in level 8. Can someone, like, tell me at this point, 4 p.m. at where we were in the Skull Cavern on the first day? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you. And there's a rock. Do I seriously need to create a staircase or something? Okay, okay. Finally. That took forever. At least it felt that way. Okay. So obviously there is a lot of stuff that can be cleared out here. Really was hoping for some freaking ladder. So far no shaft, so that's a first difference, definitely. I'm quite sure that's making quite the difference in Ooh, okay, so first shaft. And just four levels, but should I complain, all things considered? What? No, stop touching me. I really was hoping to dodge both of them, but oh well. Okay, we got a lot of Omni Geodes and even the Rusty Spoon. One of the worst potential artifacts I could have picked up. I'm not gonna stick around if I see a ladder, sorry, but not sorry. Okay, the reason why I keep coming here this often is, and why I'm not smelting anything is uh, fairly simple. I'm quite sure even if it's gonna be like a super lucky day on the next episode since we have the uh, event, I'm gonna probably just go ahead and start smelting stuff because obviously I will not be able to do anything for the rest of the day. And therefore, if I will have enough iridium to smelt, what I can do, ooh, there's a diamond, go to Clint, obviously, I think it's his birthday. Uh, I should be able to, like, request the upgrade for the pickaxe so that I am rocking the Iridium pickaxe. And therefore, the next visit here will be much, much smoother. Thanks to me having one of the most expensive toys I can potentially think of owning. When it comes to the tools, at least that is. I mean, the, the 
Iridium tools cost like 25,000 each. So that is some um, really, really expensive tools to run around with. Okay, let's try to clear this out too. And it did work. So there was the ladder. There is a ladder. I was hoping for a ladder, but well, let's see what this will do. Let's break these rocks. Thank you. Okay, we are only at level 21. Uh, and I don't have any uranium at this point. There's a shaft, so... There's a shaft. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so fun thing. On the previous day, when it was the luckiest day, I did not see a single diamond node. However, today we came across two already, and we are not even like in level 40 or something, so... Not really sure. Okay, there's the first Iridium node, I think? Okay, so that's definitely an Iridium crab, so I'm not gonna play around with him. Fire quartz, that's some coal here. And where can I potentially find a ladder or something? Yeah, I'm really not a huge fan of these few rocks being scattered all over the level. This will make it a total nightmare getting deeper. And gosh darn it, the spicy eel has run off, so I'm gonna actually pop this one too. I still have a lot of time to get... I'm not sure if I will be able to get to level 50 something on this run. I'm gonna try, but no promises. Okay, we are gonna pop a bomb in here. The bug will not even notice that. Okay, frozen tear. Let's let's pop a bomb in here. Nothing! Nothing of any value. Okay, that was just unfortunate. But I'm gonna run. Run on run. I'm gonna pick up everything from here. And how do I wanna do this? Uh, okay, you know what would be great if I would actually free up the space here. Nice. So those are Maru's favorite gifts, I do believe. I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna make uh, five bombs and I'm just gonna leave. I was considering like getting those two iridium notes, I mean those iron oats. This is actually an iridium crab, so... Okay, and he actually managed to drop a ladder. Thank you. Let's take the ruby. There's a ladder, so we are just gonna head straight down. Okay, this is a nice rock formation. Beautiful, really nice, really nice. Almost got hit by that serpent, and I'm just gonna keep on going. 39, but I really want the gold too, at least the one that is here. Let's jump into the shaft. Eight levels, okay, we are definitely, wow, that's the third diamond note. We are definitely taking the diamond note. Definitely need to eat this. And I'm not gonna waste time with the... Okay, and definitely leaving this level behind. Thank you. Um, man, come on, we need some freaking iridium. Okay, so this is actually a iridium note. What are the chances? There's gonna be something good. Shoot! Okay, um... There is 
this dead mummy. Damn it! One more second and we would have got the reward in Forster. So ladder here and level 50. That is just nice, although I feel like this is Iridium Crab for some reason. No, it was not. And it's midnight. Okay. Another Iridium note. Won't complain. I really want to get a bit deeper. Okay, that's Iridium. Beautiful. Level 51. Iridium bats. Might grow up some Iridium, so let's play with them. Okay, even battery pack. Mucho gusto. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. And at one, I'm gonna leave. So let's see if I can get one level deeper. And we. Okay, it's one. Let's pop that bomb too. It's one ten. Come on, no iridium. Okay. So level fifty three. Uh, I think like both days we managed to get the same day or same level in the mines. So not that bad. The difference can be seen obviously based on what I was able to come across. First day, I believe I came across much more Iridium, and this time I came across quite a lot of diamonds. So if I would have more of the, uh, what you call them, Crystallariums, or, yeah, Crystallariums, I would be able to just pop more diamonds into the copying process, or how should I call it? I'm gonna sell you, 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 you to. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Sell you. Gonna keep you. Definitely keeping the oak resin. We need that for the production of all sorts of goody goodies. And well, 15 iridium. So theoretically. Uh, we need five per bar. So we will get ten iridium bars, which means either I'm gonna get diamond pickaxe and I'm gonna be left with eight iridium bars for creating, I don't know, like the iridium quality sprinklers, or I can try to potentially create another crystallarium. That would be also epic, uh, would definitely help out quite a lot. But the diamonds don't need to be used for stuff. This can be dropped off here, this can be dropped off here. I do know that the novel shelf needs to be dropped off for the sturgeon. But I mean, obviously it's 140, so I'm just gonna rush off home and to be bad. But yeah, in case you like what I do here, consider subscribing. I publish videos like five days a week on all sorts of games, which I can currently cover with my limited hardware. And I do all sorts of things from playthroughs to discussions to early access reviews to, I don't know, some other stuff. Look it up, take a look. The link will be in the description, so you know what to do. And yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, I will respond to you in the comment section, and I'll see you at the next one, bye bye!